Hi, I'm April N. And this week I'm going to talk about bullying. Bullying is a very serious issue that's going on right now. Um, I've, I've been bullied basically my whole life. Um, ever since I was in kindergarten to 12th grade, people were always bullying me. Uh, maybe because I wore glasses since I was in first grade. Um, they didn't look like this back then. <laughs> they were huge, very huge and very, very thick. And I guess people didn't like that. So they made fun of me all the time. At first, it was hard for me to adjust to all that. I would go home crying and uh, I would ask my sister to try to help me because my sister was older than me, five years. So whatever, whenever my sister could get one of my bullies and like stop them, she would, but she wasn't there for the most part. So I was on my own basically all the time. It wasn't until I was in middle school that I learned what I had to do to actually stop the bullies from bullying me. Because here's the thing. I was scrawny, I didn't have much strength, I, I didn't know how to fight, I didn't know what to say to defend myself, and no one was defending me because everybody was scared of the bullies just as much as I was. Um, so one of the things that I did is that I acted tough. It was all mental. If I can make the bully think that, that I'm a threat, then maybe the bully will stop bullying me. The truth of the matter is that most of bullies will back down if you if you actually go at them but yes the, there is some cases where there are some bullies who might not back down but you know what you have to do you have to take a stand you can't just keep taking the abuse you have to defend yourself and no it's so scary it's the scariest thing in the world to have to face up to somebody that you're scared of you know have to face up to somebody that may or may not beat you up it's so scary but you have to do it because if you don't defend yourself who will so when I moved to a different middle school, it was a completely different story. Now there's new people, there's new bullies, but now I learned. I learned. I learned that defending myself means that people will actually leave me alone. So there was constantly people starting to bully me and I would always snap right back at them. I wouldn't let them get away with anything. And eventually what happened is that they stopped altogether. It also helped that I joined Van at that time it was really nice to get involved in like these uh, extracurricular activities because those are friends that will actually be there for you, you know? Even if they won't jump in and defend you against the bully, like they're not like that, they're not that close to you, it's still, you're seen as with, you're seen in a group of a bunch of people. So the bullies will be like, well, if I mess with her, there's a possibility that all those people she's hanging out with are gonna mess with me right back. So it, it's, a, it's a sign to bullies to stay away. The more you're alone, the more the bullies will attack you. You just gotta put yourself out there. And I know that opens up to so many things. You, you can get hurt, you can get heartbroken, but you have to do it because that's how you live. You have to take a risk. You can surpass all those things that they tell you. You have to not let them push you down. Even if at home you go home and cry yourself to sleep, don't let them see that. You have to stand strong. Always keep your chin up high and remember that you're not alone. There is a lot of people that are bullied just like you. And if you don't have any experience with bullying, no one has ever bullied you, then fight against bullying. Help those people who are being bullied. Sometimes these people are completely defenseless. They can't do anything. They're being attacked by five people and they have nothing they can do. If they fight, they'll get beat up. If they, if they say something, they'll immediately get shut down. They need people to back them up. They need people to stand up and say, hey, I'm with this person right now, stop. There was only one person who defended me and he is the reason that I defended myself. We're standing there in, in line to go into the classroom one day and this one girl came up to me, I'm not gonna say any names, but she just came up to me and started teasing me and she was really, really horrible to me and she started shoving me into the bush and I could do nothing because she, she was an, a grade older than me. So she was a lot bigger and a lot taller and a lot stronger. And since I was like really, really skinny, I just kind of like flew back. I had nothing I could do. And so this guy, a um, black Muslim, he, I'd never even talked to him. He was just in my classroom, always sitting in the back of the classroom. Sometimes he knew the answers. He was just a regular guy. I never talked to him. And so he just stood up right in front of me and faced her face to face and said, Hey, back up and I was completely surprised I was like whoa this this guy I don't know is 
defending me. And he just like, she was like yelling at him and he was like not, he was not backing down. He was staring her down and he was yelling at her. He was saying, back up. You're bigger than her and you should be ashamed of yourself. So remember, bullying is not an effort that you can fight by yourself. Yes, the first step is you. You are the first person who can stop the bullying. But it also has to be a group effort. Find people who are victims like you. Find people who are willing to defend you. Defend people who are being bullied. Form a community and fight the bullies. Because obviously telling people about it, telling the authorities about it, are not doing anything about it. So we have to defend ourselves. We have to fight bullying because it's not right. It's really damaging. To this day, I, I remember some of those things that happened back then and I'm, I'm ashamed of myself that I let it be that way. I'm ashamed that I let those kids say what they did to me. I'm ashamed that they, I let them throw me into the trash can. I'm ashamed that I let them grab my food and throw it on the floor. I'm ashamed that I let them steal my lunch money. And I wish that I had learned earlier to defend myself. So I hope that sharing my experience with you, I can help you find a way to overcome such an obstacle like bullying. Never stop fighting, keep your chin up, and stomp out bullying.